So the intro progression here, uh, kind of doing a uh, amalgamate of what the horns and the bass are doing, and just the overall chordage, I guess. Uh, we'll start by doing a uh, high voicing of a D, okay? And this is also good for the chorus too, so intro and chorus progression here. So come on up to the tens on the B and E. You just kind of want to hit them, slide them out. Okay, that's kind of like a horn hit that happens there. And then we do this walk up. Uh, happens mostly with the horns also and the bass. Uh, it would be C and do it this style here where we go three on the A, five on the D and G with the B there. And up a fret to the four and sixes for the C sharp. And then finish on the fifth fret here for the D on the five and sevenths. Okay, so we're. Okay, the walk up that happens uh, is with the bass. So just do a couple of A chords quickly to B chords, two and fours, to C, to fourth fret for the C sharp. Okay, so put the first half of it together. All right, second half of it, the first measure stays the same. We got our tens sliding out, and then we do our three, four, five, our C, C sharp, D. All right, and now we're just gonna walk down. Uh, a chord, and you can just do it a bar chord style up here. Um, don't really need to worry about the full chord, just kind of maybe get like the E through the G string here. So five E, sevens on the A and D, six on the G there. Hit that a couple times. And now we, we need to go lower. So we're gonna go A flat at the fourth fret, sixes and the five. G, the third fret. And then finish on F at the first fret. Threes on the A and D, two on the G. All right, so kind of like take that that riff, and then we do a walk up, then the riff, and a walk down. First progression, just kind of like a simplified version of what's going on with the intro and chorus. Uh, basically, we take away some of those horn hits and keep the walk ups and the walk down, and with the initial. Uh, measure here, you can just basically hit a D chord. All right, just let it chill. And then we do our walk up from A, B, C, C sharp, back to the D. Okay, just kind of following the bass. And, uh, you know, third measure, same as the first, just hit the D, let it go. And then do our walk downs from A, A flat, G, F. Pre-chorus section. All right, just some timing dynamics here, really. Uh, go to a G chord, and you can do it like the open style, because we're going to stay in this area. Uh, so just a couple Gs, just strum two of them, kind of close, just and then to a F, and just let that F finish the measure. All right. From there, we go to a couple of E chords, just like we did the G. All right, and now we need E flat, so we'll just come over here, and we go six A, eights on the D, G, B. Let that ring. And then we get these three uh, attacks, kind of like with the horns on the A chord. So just fifth fret there, seven A and D, six G. All right, so the timing would be something like. All right, and in the midst of this, uh, there's actual recorded guitar going on where it's like this wah pedal riff. So that's pretty fun. Uh, we'll come up here and it's just kind of hitting this this single note and uh, doing some like dead strum. It's real funk style here, okay? You kick on the wah. And with this, we're just going real quick. 
just want to kind of keep this strumming going, you know, about that speed. And we're just kind of dropping in these 12th frets, these G notes on the G string here, just two of them. And then we go four dead string strums. Okay, about like that. And you go through that about three times. All right, and then we just drop in uh, two of those 12th frets, couple dead strings, two of them, couple dead strings. Okay, it just happens, just kind of cut in half what we usually do. All right, and in the midst of all this, we need the wah pedal just kind of going right with it, right on tempo, just back and forth.